good afternoon. As you can see, I'm not there again today. I hope you guys are working really hard for your substitute teacher. We are going to begin our whole group lesson today. Remember our reading goals for this week are I can read and spell words with spelling patterns of long A. I can read, identify, and use adjectives in my writing. I can read second grade stories accurately and fluently to support my comprehension. Let's begin with our sight words. See them, say them. Ready? Go. Another. What's the word? Afraid. What's the word? Always. What's the word? Past. What's the word? Great. What's the word? Says. What's the word? Really. What's the word? Stay. What's the word? Which. What's the word? Try. What's the word? And we move on to talking about our long A spelling patterns. Um, I noticed that we had some trouble when looking at our independent work on Schoology, that some of us were having trouble with these long A spelling patterns. So remember, vowels can stand for both short and long sounds. And this week, those are the ones we are talking about, the patterns that make the long A sound. This week, our spelling patterns are A-Y, which make the long A sound, A-I, which makes the long A sound. And our words that we have are ray, day, may, rain, tail, bait. All right, read them aloud with me. Ready? Go. Aid, may, bait, pale, play, came, chain, main, tame, rail, tray, late. Very good. All right, talking about adjectives. Remember, adjectives are nothing more than words that describe. So here is my sample sentence. It says, there were five birds in the tree. All right, my adjective in this sentence is five. What does five describe? It describes the birds. It talks about the birds. It tells us how many birds. And remember, adjectives can tell how many, what kind, and which one. Our essential question, what, can lessons, what lessons can we learn from characters and stories? And then this week, we switch to fables. A little more about fables from yesterday. Fables are those short stories. They're fictional. They usually have talking animal characters, and there's usually two or three characters within a story. Uh, more uh, Fable, excuse me, is also going to have a moral in the lesson, and that is nothing more than what lesson can you learn after reading the fable. So a rereading of the story of the tortoise and the hare. There once was a speedy hare who bragged about how fast he could run. Tired of hearing him boast, slow and steady, the tortoise challenged him to a race. All the animals in the forest gathered to watch. Hare ran down the road for a while and then and paused to rest. He looked back at slow and steady and cried out. How do you expect to win this race when you are walking along at your slow, slow pace? Hare stretched himself out alongside the road and fell asleep thinking. There is plenty of time to relax. Slow and steady walked and walked. He never ever stopped until he came to the finish line. The animals who were watching cheered so loudly for Tortoise. They woke up Hare. Hare stretched and yawned and began to run again, but it was too late. Tortoise was over the line. After that, Hare always reminded himself, don't brag about your lightning pace for slow and steady won the race. So yesterday I told you we were going to talk about the moral of the story or what lesson did we learn in the story. So thinking back to that last line, after that, Hera always reminded himself, don't brag about your lightning pace for slow and steady won the race. So the moral or the lesson that we can take away from this story is, although you might be the biggest, the brightest, the strongest, the fastest, don't boast about what you are. There might be someone that is not bigger than you or brighter than you or smarter than you or faster than you. But because that person still tries, he or she may end up winning out over you. So it's not a great thing to boast and to brag about yourself to others. 
All right, so on to our independent activities. Um, after checking everybody's independent activities yesterday, I want to give a shout out to group one and group two. You worked really hard to complete your assignments um, from yesterday. Um, speaking with and on group two, um, LSAO and Hannah, when I was checking your independent work on Schoology, I noticed that you did not click submit. So today, when you do Tuesday's assignment, make sure you click submit. And as always, make sure all groups are trying their best to complete their assignments, because I am checking. All right, so now we move on to group three. Group three, it looks like you did not complete yesterday's assignment all the way, and that's okay. So what I'm going to have for you do today is just to click on it will say Tuesday but it's actually your work that you were working on yesterday and I want you to make sure you try your very best to complete those assignments if there's anyone that you don't understand make sure you raise your hand to get help okay so again we are going purple folder purple folder to your group folder and you'll click your assignment and it should say Tuesday and you should get your assignment nice job on working on your school Schoology assignment today yesterday and keep up the great work for today now, this week we're going to have some benchmark, very important benchmark testing for reading going on. Um, yesterday, today we were, yesterday, excuse me, we were supposed to do the spelling, um, but I'm not there, so we will have to do that another day. So every day this week, including today, you should be doing some kind of assessment for reading. Um, it may be your, it may be taking the iReady um, reading diagnostic. Um, with your teacher, not by yourself. Um, it may be going to read for fluency for someone, um, or it may be doing one or two of those other um, reading assessments that we have. But I will make sure that I let you know um, along the way. You guys just try your very, very, very best. So that's all for today, and I will see or talk to you guys tomorrow.